All right, so I wasn't planning on doing this video. Literally, I was just gonna make it, but then I thought, I've never showed you guys this, and I've never made this, so I might as well film it the first time. So let me show you something really quick. If you've never lived on a farm, or been on a farm, or got food from a farm, that's one head of cauliflower from a farm in Kentucky. Uh, I just wanna thank the, uh, uh, my friend Teresa for bringing this to me. I'm going to be making cauliflower mashed potatoes with garlic and uh, what else? Oh, we're putting some cheese in it too. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be very, uh, very keto friendly or paleo friendly if you guys are watching uh, what you eat. And it's gonna be delicious. If you're not watching what you eat, it's gonna be awesome too. So there it is. Look, this thing weighs a ton. It's gotta be like six pounds or five pounds. It's as big as my head. Once again, I've never done this before, so uh, I'm gonna cook this and then I'm gonna season it with uh, garlic powder and onion powder. I'm gonna mix in some heavy whipping cream, some real butter, and shaved Parmesan cheese. All right, guys, I got my steam tray in there. You can put a steam basket, whatever you want. Water's in there. Put the cauliflower in. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Cover the pot, get your flame on there. There you go. Let it steam for about 10 to 15 minutes. Whenever it's fork tender, it all depends on how big yours is. If you can put a fork in with ease, uh, it should be all done. As you can see back there, that is a big, steamy, huge thing of cauliflower and we're gonna bring it over here right now. All right, we're gonna place our cauliflower in pieces into our processor. Okay, so since I couldn't fit it all in, we're just gonna chop it for a minute to get it down a little bit. It's pretty hot still, so we wanna be careful. Get that locked in, make sure we're good, pulse. Make a little more room. Let's put some cream in there to help out the, the process. There we go. Might as well throw some butter in there too, right? It's nice and hot. Get that melting. A little bit there, a little bit there. The cool part is I can pull out the top here and just pour some to help it along. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little milk in it because it seems to be thickening up. I'll have the final recipe down below. We're experimenting, guys. I told you I've never made this before, so bear with me and then I'll give you the end results. See if we got everything in there. Look at this. Look at it. That looks beautiful. Here we go. Now I know what you guys are saying. Looks a little loose, doesn't it? See? A little loose. Now if you're not gonna put cheese in this, you're probably gonna wanna use less liquid, just alter the recipe, but I'm putting a lot of cheese in it. But first I wanna season it. So we're gonna put our garlic in first. And our onion powder. Get that a good mixing. While it's loose, mix in your seasoning. One more tweak, little Himalayan pink salt. You can use regular salt if you want and some fresh ground black pepper. Should come out perfect. All right, cheese is gonna be the binding agent. So take your time and be generous with the cheese. Mix it in, because you don't wanna melt it on top. You want it to be a binding agent. All right guys, so all the cheese is in it. I have the measurements down below, but you're gonna have to do this by eye because I have like five pounds of cauliflower. So I'll put down what I used and then you can divide it up or, or just use the ingredients and add how you like it. Here we go. Mmm. Butter. Butter. I love that. Cream. Garlic. Lots of garlic. Lots of Parmesan. Oh my goodness. I'll never eat mashed potatoes again. This is how we're doing it from now on. Sorry, mashed potatoes. This rocks. I guarantee you 100% that you will love this. Try this recipe out, all right? I gotta wrap this up. I'm going to a barbecue with it, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care, bye-bye.